What's up guys, Mark from Beyond the Road here and today I want to talk about the Spider-Man news that we got today and it's getting crazy. Uh, everybody's everybody's basically coming back. You know, I, I know we, we still should take this. I still would take it as a, a great, not a great, so I, I, I'm probably 95% sure that all of these characters are going to come back. We got Doc Ock from Spider-Man 2, the Tobey Maguire Sam Raimi series. Tobey Maguire is my favorite Spider-Man, so no matter what, I can't wait to see Tobey Maguire, you know, share the screen with Tom Holland and Andrew Garfield. And I'm going to keep it in that order. I'm just going to tell you, Tobey Maguire is my favorite, then Andrew Garfield, then Tom Holland. And this is just a lot of news. Like, I, I, I'm, of course, we're going to get something, you know, a Spider-Verse. We're going to get something like that. And it's going to have something to do with Doctor Strange. So I'm really looking forward to what the story is going to bring. Because I actually, I do believe that Spider-Man 3, uh, Tom Holland Spider-Man 3, is going to be before um, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. I, be I believe that's true. But I'm very excited, guys. Like, there's so much news coming out. And the, the news I'm waiting for, for officially, honestly, because Toby hasn't been, you know, announced announced so once that news breaks that toby is announced this is officially we're entering the spider-verse guys officially so i can't wait for that another big name that actually two big names uh, because emma stone is actually one of the rumored uh names to be coming back and i'm kind of curious on how that's gonna work i don't know if andrew garfield's world now is going to be where uh she didn't die within the story where you know uh Emma Stone's character didn't die. I I don't know. I'm, I'm actually curious about that. Uh, along with I was I'm really hoping from um, from uh, Tobey Maguire's series, Sam Raimi's series. I want to see William Dafoe come back. If you know, all bets are off. You know, I want to see William Dafoe come back and actually play Green Goblin because I love his Green Goblin. I feel like he's one of the best characters from the Sam Raimi series. So I actually want to see that, and hopefully that actually comes into fruition. And of course, I mean, you never know. We might get to see James Franco. I, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, those characters have uh, died in the story within the Tobey Maguire and then the Andrew Garfield story. They, there's characters that have died. Are those characters gonna be brought back now? I, I like, I'm very curious on how they're gonna do this because if it, if it was me, I keep the same world that they were in. Just the characters that died, keep them that keep them you know laid to rest and just bring toby and bring andrew in i've always loved their story because they're filled with such emotion i don't get that kind of emotion from a tom holland story i never do not even from spider-man uh his first spider-man or second i always feel like he's second fiddle to the main character you know i always feel like there's something overshadowing uh, Tom Holland's character and that's even now with the spider-man 3 the spider-verse It's gonna get even more overshadowed because you're gonna have Tobey Maguire <laughs> you're gonna have Andrew Garfield Emma Stone also Christian Dunst uh, Mary Jane she's supposed to be coming back you know you got Doc Ock you uh, you might even wild guess you might have Kraven the Hunter. You might have all these characters coming. Jamie Foxx. You have all these characters coming back, and they're just going to overshadow what you know. What Tom Holland? He, he had, Tom Holland has never had a. To me, I don't know what you guys think, but to me, he's never had a solo film. So I'm. I've been looking forward to a solo film. His first film had Iron Man. His second film, uh, Myster Mysterio is his villain. He had uh, Sam Jackson. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson and uh, a couple of the scrolls so it's just I, I wish he had a film on his own but he hasn't had that film yet he always he's always had someone there in his films to mentor him and I mean it, it, it's cool but I really want to see you know like a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man Spider-Man 1 he didn't have help and yeah you can say <laughs> Sony didn't have all the characters uh, from Marvel, I don't know about uh, during that time. I, I can't remember, and I think it's 2004. I can't remember if, if they got the rights or not yet. But Sony did it. <laughs> they did it without all these characters having to be in a movie. You just had Spider-Man and you have Green Goblin. 
fighting each other. You have Spider-Man learning about who he is. You have his Uncle Ben dying. It's those those are the moments that you know I love the moments with Aunt May those kind of moments and I don't feel like Tom Holland and, and uh, I can't remember I can't remember her name but his Aunt May I don't feel like they have that sort of connection like Andrew's Sto Andrew's Aunt May and then Toby's Aunt May so you know I'm it sucks that he's not getting his own solo film officially yet but you know his movies are cool. I'm not gonna say they're not. They are cool. You know, there's awesome things in it, and I love just seeing Mysterio within there. But all this news coming out with Spider-Man just has me thinking. And there's one name that I'm just waiting to hear also, besides Tobey Maguire. It's Tom Hardy. Is Tom Hardy's Venom going to be in this Spider-Verse? It'll be so cool to see Tom Hardy's Venom in this, and that leads to in Spider-Man Four where Tom Holland actually has the symbiote and he, we finally see the black suit black suit spider-man on screen done right I'm gonna I'm gonna say in spider-man spider-man 3 the Sam Raimi's Venom was not done right I I still like the movie if you take that out the movie's still good to me it's really it's pretty good I'm not gonna lie uh, Alex, he never believes me when I say those kind of things, uh, say that about that movie, but I actually do. I really enjoy the film and I really like Spider Man 3. It's fun. So I really do want to see Tom Hardy come and, you know, come in this, come in the story and we'll, we'll see what he does. I, I don't know. Is he going to help the Spider Man's out? What is he going to do? You know, there's so much, you know, unanswered questions. There's so much to go on. There's so much speculation that we can do. So, yeah, guys, we got, what, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, Christian Dunst, uh, maybe Tom Hardy. We got Doc Ock. I can't remember his name, but you guys will tell me in the comments. Um, maybe William Dafoe. Uh, maybe James Franco. You know, we never know. Maybe the Aunt Mays from each, from Toby's and Andrew. So, maybe we get all of that, and I'm hoping that we do. It, I hope it's a good story. It's not just thrown in there. I just don't want it to be a giant mess. So yeah, guys, that's my thoughts on all this Spider-Man news that's going on. You know, let me let me know down in the comments. What do you think? What do you think is gonna happen? What are your theories? Your speculations? Let me know, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button and come back and check back for more.